Hello, everybody. This is the advisor with Stacey Chalemi. Today, I'm very excited because we have a very special guest. His name is Joe Friesen, and he is an amazing real estate agent, and he's part of our podcast community. So hop onto his podcast and listen to some of his episodes because they are just amazing. He has a lot of knowledge when it comes to real estate, and today he wants to share about real estate and res uh, residential homes and why it's so important to stick to one agent and all the benefits that go along with it. There are a lot of misconceptions about real estate. A lot of people don't know a lot of things. And he's here today to clear up a lot of those um, myths and show you ways that you could actually benefit from focusing on one agent and, and all the things that come along with it. So Joe, it's such a pleasure to see you today. And I'm so glad you're on the show. Tell everybody that um, hasn't heard about you, who you know who you are and what you do and tell them a little about yourself. Hey Stacey, it's good to be back again. Uh, yeah, my name is Joe Friesen. I'm a real estate agent here in uh, Southeast Manitoba, and uh, we've been uh, working hard at getting people into homes. Uh, I'm, uh, I've been married for coming up 12 years now and uh, have two amazing kids, and uh, I'm, I'm doing exactly what I love. So I love uh, doing real estate. I love getting people into homes. I love, uh, obviously, I love this. So <laughs> I'm going to keep yeah. saying it. So, no, it's a, it's a good time. And um yeah, I'm always here to help people out with uh, with any real estate needs and real estate transactions that uh, may need some help and pretty much it. So. so, you know, you were mentioning to me that it's really important to um, really have, you know, focus on what, having one specific real estate agent a lot of people you know they hop and they go along and they they get they 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 go see a house with one agent and they go see a house with another agent and they don't stick with to one agent you know what are some of the cons of doing that like you know why is it so important to stick to one specific agent and what are some of the things that could happen if people don't you know really focus on that having that one stabilized you know real estate agent that go-to person that they can rely on well, jumping from agent to agent is kind of like uh, what is that, that that speed dating where you do the one minute per person. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, you're you're only getting to know that person for one minute. You're getting to know them for you know the duration of a coin. So if you have one agent working for you the entire time, well, we're not speed dating anymore. We're getting to know you. We're getting to know your needs. We're getting to know um, what exactly you're looking for. Um, one day you might be looking at a house uh, with uh, you know three bedrooms, and the next day you might be looking at one four or five. Well. If you stick with one agent, we know where your needs are. We we start to understand where you need to be instead of, you know, taking a complete wild guess. Um, now, if you're not working with an agent currently, that's one thing. If you call a listing agent, you know, that listing agent might end up being your buyer's agent as well. That's that's kind of just the way it works. It's fine. Right. You need to find one that you can trust, one that you can uh, learn to, uh, well, exactly that, to trust and to go forward with them. Any agent that you do work with should understand your needs and should be on the ball when it comes to finding a home for you guys. Because I mean, the home is the biggest transaction that you'll probably ever make, whether it's investment homes or, or your primary home, so. And I think a lot of times too, you know, people don't realize, but it's not a short process looking for a home. You know, some people can take, you know, a year or two before they actually find their home. And it's not an easy process. You know, some people, you know, we live in a world today where it's a go-go society. People want results right away. But when it comes to buying a home, you really shouldn't jump into an investment without being sure that you really want that home and, you know, think about uh, the long term, you know, well, if I have kids or is this going to be big enough or is it, you know, does it meet all my needs and my, you know, does it have everything I want? Is it, is there a good school system? You know, is, is the, is the transportation nearby if I have to use a bus or a train? You know, these are all things you have to take into, into account. And I think if, if you, you know, it's like going to a psychologist or a therapist, you know, are you going to tell your story to a different therapist each time? Or are you going to have that one therapist that you can go to, talk to, they get to know you, like you said, and you know exactly what they want. You know, I, I think that people don't realize that it's going to take a while to find that house. And, you know, that patience is a virtue. You know, what's your intake on that? Well, it is exactly like that. It's exactly. When you go from one psychologist to another. It'd be like hiring a, a lawyer on the same side of, or just hiring the same lawyer for both sides of a, of a case. That just seems kind of ridiculous. I mean, 
I feel like if you'd ask anybody to do that, they'd be like, oh, no way, I'm not going to do that, right? Well, right. exactly. That's exactly why you wouldn't hire uh, the same agent on both sides. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it works out fine. I'm not saying that it's uh, for sure a write-off, but typically you want one that's uh, working on your side, fighting for you. Uh, one thing people need to realize, too, is also when you have a, a listing agent looking at a home for you or the listing agent for that property is that they're also working for the, the seller. Nothing wrong with that. That's what they've been hired to do. They were hired by them before you were, you hired them to be their listing agent. So that's a can play a little bit of into that too, right? So yeah, would you hire a lawyer on both sides of the both sides of the deal or transaction or divorce? Right. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so there's lots of benefits because we do get to know you better. We get to know you, and we get to. Um, explore things with you we get to find the 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 oh what's the word here we get to find the things that drive you the things that well essentially that you need in a home we right. we also understand where where the wants come in and where the needs come in so which believe it or not is a quite different yeah yeah a hundred percent no i i think it's really good you know to stick with one specific you know um, the real estate agent when you're looking for a home. Now, is there any characteristics of what, what a person, you know, what a couple or a person should look for when they're trying to buy a home and they need a real estate agent? You know, what's that ultimate real estate agent they should be looking for? A lot of people don't even know. There's so many, so many real estate agents that go after somebody when, as soon as they find out they're, they're looking for a home, you know, is, is there, you know, a, a certain types of characteristics that, are, that you should really look for when you're trying to find the right, um, the, the, the right real estate agent that way you do stay with them for a long time and you get so many benefits out of it well that's a great question the, the biggest one you want to find is somebody that you can trust um somebody who's going to be straightforward with you and somebody who's going to make sure things are happening and that they're actually fighting for you. i mean you'll you'll learn pretty quick which one's fighting for you and which one isn't fighting for you um you'll learn pretty quick which one's running after the dollar and which one's running after a relationship the those are those would be the biggest ones. You just want to make sure that somebody actually cares enough about you to make a phone call to 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 check in once a week, once every two weeks, whatever it might be, and uh, just to see where things are at, where you're at. And uh, typically, you have one that would be very good at uh, uh, contact or communicating with your real estate, uh, sorry, with your mortgage broker and all that good stuff too. So. Like I have some amazing clients that we do exactly this, where I'm in contact with their mortgage broker as well. You know, if I have a house that I find for them, and let's say it's even a little bit on the high side for price, and I'm like, but this, you know, I I think this is going to be the perfect fit for you. I will email often the obviously I have the permission from the from the buyer students, but I'll often email the mortgage broker and ask, is this like is this within our reach? Or are we way out of balance here? And right. mainly I do that because we don't want to waste your time. Like your time is precious. We want to make sure that we get a home that you want, and we will want to make sure that you can actually afford it when we get there. Yeah. No point in wasting your time. No point in wasting the seller's time either. If we don't, if we don't have that in place, so that's a uh, one of the few stories that we're where I where we do that fairly often, where we have good relationships with mortgage brokers in that sense too. So. I know that for a lot of first time buyers there, especially in today's, you know, market, they're so afraid about, you know, about thinking that they can't afford it. You know, are there ways that first time buyers, you know, can actually work with their real estate agent and be able to afford a, a nice, you know, house at a reasonable cost, you know, um, cause it, there's like, I guess there's a lot that goes into it when there's a first time buyer, cause you know, they, they're, you know, cause they have to have good credit and they, you know, they're not really sure, you know, about a lot of things, you know, what are your suggestions for first time buyers that, you know, are just coming into the market that don't know a lot? Do you have some, you know, advice that you could share with them? Yeah, absolutely. One of the biggest ones would be get in contact with an agent. Um, we can, always refer you to a good mortgage broker. I think we had talked about this actually in the last episode, but we get to refer you to good mortgage brokers and often mortgage brokers are very good at creating, even if you're not here right now already, but we can get you to that point where you would be ready. Um, it might be very small adjustments in your life that would be, we'll, we'll be able to get you into a home in two years, a yeah. year. And um, that seems, 
you know, crazy, you know, 12 months out, 24 months out, we don't want to wait that long to buy a house. Well, you start today, I mean, you're a lot closer than you will be if you're you're looking at 48 months from now, you're looking at like, mm, yeah, shut it down that, right? Yeah. So any good agent will always find you the, uh, find a way to create a good plan with you so that we can find you a house in two years, three years, four years, a year. Sometimes it's only six months away. Sometimes people actually have more money than they, they realize that they can actually make a lot more moves in the real estate world than they think they can. So I, I would say when it comes to that, reach out to your agent, reach out to them and ask them, how can I get to the house buying process? How can I get there? Yeah. We're we're not just uh we're not just real estate agents. We don't we don't just list the house, sell a house, find buyers, sell the house. It's it's much more than that. We're actually we pretty much advise. We're like real estate advisors. We should change our names to advisors. <laughs> so <laughs> we advise people on how to get to where they want to be. It's it's a uh, it's goal advising. We just we want to make sure that you get to where you want to be. Again, a lot of this has to do with finding the right agent who actually has you know, the heart for this, the people that are the desire to help people to get to where they want to be. For like, for example, one of the things is a lot of people, especially new time home buyers are like, well, people don't want to waste their time with us because, you know, we we would only buy a house in this price bracket instead of this price bracket. And that agent seems to always be in this price. It doesn't actually matter. If that agent actually cares, they know that they can get you into a house in this price bracket. And in right. a few years after you've been in there, you can probably get into this. Like our goal is to be, build you up and up and up, not the other way around. Right. So it's just a matter of finding that exactly that whole trust aspect again, finding an agent that you can trust, finding an agent that will that actually cares enough to make sure that you make those consistent calls and seeing where you're at. Uh, with that, also people change their mind sometimes, and you know the best thing you can do is be honest with your agent, just be like, you know what, I've changed my mind, I don't want to do this anymore. That's fine. But just just tell us. There's no point in ghosting us because we're just yeah. we're honestly just trying to help you. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the amount of work that goes in the background is actually a lot more substantial than most people think. So just um, just honesty. Just find an agent that will be honest with you, but also be honest with us. Right. I think you made you said something really magical is you create a plan with them, and and if you really want to stick, if you don't stick with one agent and and you're moving around it, you you can't create a plan you know because a plan I, I i would i would assume takes time like what goes into the plan you know when you're working with a with a with a couple or you know you're working with people you know who are interested as first time buyers you know what type of plan should they create or help you help them create so they are successful at buying that first time home yeah absolutely well there's a few things that go into play right one of them is is our biggest issue credit. Credit can be fixed within a matter of probably six months to a year, depending on how bad it is or or what's the owing out rate or all that good stuff. <clears throat> is it is it a money problem? Do we need uh, do we need more for a down payment? Do we have a family that will gift us the money? Do we have, you know, these are all the the, the avenues that we would explore at that time. So one plan might be focusing on getting your credit better. Believe it or not, we know a lot more about credit than you probably think we do. So we build up the credit. We find a way to build up the credit. We find a way to do it fast, quick, and efficient. And um, so we can, again, get you to that house. Or is it a money issue? Can your parents, do you have an uncle or an aunt or somebody who can borrow you, borrow you the money or give the money to you? Whatever it might be. Or it might just be as simple as saving up for a year, two years, whatever right. the case might be. A lot of people come to me and they're like, well, I don't have a mom and dad that can give me, you know, a down payment on a house. I don't have any family that'd be willing to do that. Guess what? I don't either. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's fine. We don't need to. We we uh, we work our way up. We we work at the steps. It's taking baby steps into getting the to the to our goal, one right. step at a time. It might be as simple as making a chart. You know, we did a hundred dollars a paycheck. That's great. That's a hundred dollars closer to a house. Than you were yesterday right it might be small but it'll get you there a hundred percent a hundred percent 
And, and when you stick with someone, you know, you get to really know them on a, on a, on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a monthly basis. And you, you're working with them. You're probably on the phone with them a lot. You're talking to them. You know, you're finding out things. You're sharing it with them. They have questions. They're sharing it with you. So, you know, all that takes time and energy. And, and you really, you know, if you don't stick with one person, you, you can't develop that relationship. You can't re develop that rapport. You know, you know, you're not going to be able to develop that trust factor. And and really, I think it's the first time, you know, impression is when you first meet that realtor and you speak to that realtor, you, you get that that feeling if you want to move forward with that person or not, you know, and, and, you know, when from your own experience, what are some of the things, you know, that a first time buyer should look for when they're when they're meeting that real estate agent for the first time, you know, are there characteristics or certain personality traits that they should look for when they're going to, you know, put something, you know, so valuable, you know, so important to them into their hands of finding a, a home that they're going to live in, you know, and, you know, something that they, you know, a, you know, first time buyer, or even like a second time buyer or whatever, you know, are there certain characteristics they should look for in real estate agents? Yeah. I mean, you'll learn pretty quick if that agent is going to be super pushy, if they're going to be, um, if they're going to blow you off as soon as they find out that maybe you aren't quite there yet to be able to afford that house. Right. Um, those, those things will come to light very, very quick. Um, if you meet a new real estate agent, they should be asking you all the right questions. You, you And you'll know when they're asking the right questions. The, the thing that I feel like we run into often is, people feel like we're being almost too invasive. It's like, no, we're just trying to understand where you're at at this point. And everything you say to us, I mean, that stays between us. We don't we don't go put it on social media now and talk about, hey, yeah. guess what? You know, Billy Bob from New York is it's whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. None, none of that. We, what, we, what you tell us, we're taking notes so that we can understand it better. Right. So, so yeah, finding characteristics in, a, in an agent, they will... Everybody's true colors, they 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 uh they shine through pretty quick, especially when it comes to transactions as big as uh, real estate. And um you'll know, you'll know pretty quick. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest, I'm not the right agent for some people either. That's just bottom line. I I can't uh, I can't be the same for everybody because everybody clicks in a different way, right? <clears throat> right. Some people need more of the some people might even just need a female instead of a male. That's fine. Right. Yes. And, uh, you know, honestly, if somebody would come up to me and say, honestly, I just feel more comfortable working with a female agent. Guess what? I'll find that female agent for you. Right. I have no problem with that. I want people to succeed. That's my biggest goal when it comes to real estate. It's my biggest goal when it comes to just getting people into houses. It's my biggest goal when it comes to meeting new first time home buyers. I want you to succeed. I do not want you to be stuck. I do not want to want you to feel like you're stuck. I want I want you to ultimately build some wealth in a home because mm -hmm. building wealth in a home is what's the, big, the, it's the biggest transaction you'll most likely make in your lifetime. So find somebody who wants that. Find somebody who wants you to succeed. Don't find somebody who just wants a transaction. And right. uh, if you've ever had an agent in the past, you'll know pretty quick if that agent just wanted a transaction because you will never hear from them again after the sale of the home. So, yeah. And uh, everybody's had an agent like that in their life. I mean, I've had it too. I can think back right now where I'm like, I bought a house in the past before I was an agent where uh, yeah, they sold me a house, never heard from them again, ever. Right. So it's a... Uh, so those those are some of my goals when I went into this where I'm like, I actually want to make people where clients become friends. That's what my, my uh, motto is or slogan, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And I, I, I go by that. I actually want people to be my friends. I want people to to trust me because right. this is a relationship business. 100%. 100%. Now, do you find that a lot of people are scared and they become indecisive because of their, you know, being scared or being unsure? And and how how can you know uh, how you know what are some ways that you help you know clients build confidence in themselves? Because a lot of times, you know, they you know they're not really sure. They they go into houses and they they like certain things, but they're not sure if it's the right home and stuff like that. 
how do people really know when it's the right home? You know, are, are there are there things that people should really look for? Are there is it just intuition or is it some, you know, looking for specific things in the home? So, you know, even like when I'm thinking about it, you know, like when you go into the home, you know, things could be wrong with the home, too, and you don't even know it. Are there things that you would advise, you know, first time buyers when they're looking for that right home that are a little scared to help them along the way? Well, it all depends on what uh, what kind of house we're looking at, right? If we're looking at a new build, I mean that's pretty pretty easy, pretty standard stuff. There's a is a, a home inspection still a good idea at that point? Sure. If it brings you peace of mind, at that point, that's exactly what I would tell you. If it brings you peace of mind, it's worth the money to put into a home inspection. Uh, older homes, I'll often tell people to do it to get a home inspection done. You know, let's find out what the how much life is left in the shingles? Let's find out what's going on there underneath the house. Let's is there electrical problem? Like what's up? And um, when it comes to finding the right house for people, and even when we let to do the home inspection, there's a few things that pop up. More times than not, it's very very minor stuff, but it sounds so scary. Like let's say when our roof, the roof needs new shingles, the whole roof. Yeah. That used to be six to eight grand. Now it's like 12 to 15 grand. It's just a lot of money. So yeah. that scares people away. When I've And I've had this happen not that long ago where people have said that to me. They're like, well, that's just a lot of money we need to spend. But it's yes, but it's five years from now. That's when you need to change your shingle. That's what the inspector said. Yeah. So how does it serve? How does the house serve you otherwise? Will it serve you the way it's meant to serve you? Is it? Is it what you're looking for? Yes. This is maintenance. It's just maintenance. Though. Will we be able to uh, revisit the price? Possibly. Right. We might be able to revisit a little bit. We might be able to negotiate just a bit. Probably not as much as uh, as a whole new roof cost, depending on the severity of it. But uh, there's a good chance. And I will always try for my buyers to go renegotiate the price if we can. Now, that being said, though, too, I don't want people to call me and say, well, we want to renegotiate every every little thing. It's If you're going to tell me that the house needs or the home needs uh, landscaping, you knew that going in. We, yes. need, we need to just put that right out, out up front. The house hasn't been beautifully landscaped the way up to your liking. That yes. doesn't mean that it doesn't, isn't working just fine now. <clears throat> so often I feel like I'm also separating people's expectations of what they think they need to yeah. what they actually need it's like we don't actually need that so it it just comes down to can your agent be very honest with you in that aspect too we're not trying to be jerks we're just trying to be right. very reasonable so yeah, no, everybody the, as a winner yeah a hundred percent and I guess that's one thing you want to be able to have in your in your um, real estate agent is, is someone who can negotiate for you and fight for you to make sure that you get the best deal possible. And, you know, I, like, like you mentioned, you know, some real estate agents just want to sell. So they're not going to do that much negotiating. But a real estate agent who knows you well, who wants to really see you succeed, is going to try to fight and try to negotiate the best they can to get you the best deal possible, I would assume. Absolutely, absolutely. Always working for the buyers, not uh, not trying to get the seller the best price, I guess. At the end of the day, we have to make sure everybody's happy, right? Because we're not going to be able to make sure that just these guys are happy, these guys are not, because we both have to agree. And at the end of the day, home sales are, you know, we're going to be selling it at about market value, maybe a few thousand under, but nothing too crazy. Right. Uh, but it is about... It is about finding that relationship of what's finding you the home, not so much. But it's about finding you the home and the best bang for your buck at the same time. So, right. Yes. Now, when it comes to like, you know, sticking with one real estate agent, what are some things that you really like to stress? Because, you know, we went over a lot of different important aspects and, you know, these are things that first time buyers should be looking for. You know, are there specific, you know, 
um, things that you'd like to emphasize that you think would be really important for, you know, first time buyers or home buyers to understand when they're looking for the right agent, why it's so important to find that one agent and stick with that agent. You know, once they have a liking to that agent and they know it's the right agent that they shouldn't, you know, keep hopping and trying to find other agents or talk to other agents that they really should, you know, once they have that good feeling, they know this person is going to help them stick with that one agent. It's learning the language, right? Learning the language of your agent. Um, let's say you find a house now and you find it on uh, Facebook Marketplace instead of the MLS or whatever. Um, I mean, I, I list all my houses on Facebook Marketplace as well. So, but with that being said, just because another agent has a listing, what I always ask my buyers to do, take a screenshot of it, find the MLS number, send it to me, and I'll find you all the information on there. Um, <clears throat> Another part or another thing I hear often is we didn't want to inconvenience you. It's a Saturday. It doesn't matter. I know that I'm on call for you guys. We are working on getting you a house. And that's important. And we're yes. working on it. So if you find a house that you want to pursue, just send it to me. I will find all the info on it and then some. Um, it it really does come down to just the language that we're speaking to you. We are going to speak it to you in a, in a way that you understand it. Uh, and there's a lot of, the, you know, mumbo jumbo in uh, in real estate and that, you know, everyday people will not understand. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, we don't understand. Just like yeah. a lawyer comes and talks to me about uh, lawyer stuff. I'm going to be lost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have certain people for certain things, right? <laughs> right. So when it comes down to it, you want an agent who's going to speak your language. You want an agent who's going to speak, um, who's going to teach you, teach you how the process works. Not, this is, you know, bam, bam, bam. I mean, we're going to give you the steps. We're going to do all that stuff, but not um, this is how it's done, all that stuff. We actually want to teach you how to get you the best price, get you the best house, all that good stuff. And language doesn't necessarily mean the language, uh, maybe a foreign language, but uh, just, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yes, definitely. A hundred percent. So if, if you really wanted to stress to the, the listeners, you know, what are some things you really want to emphasize? Now, you've talked about some of these things, but, you know, from our whole conversation, you know, our your main goal was really to make people understand that it's really important to trust, put trust in one real estate agent and really once you find that right person and you know that they care about you and you know that they're going to fight for you and negotiate for you and they're going to look for the best prices and they're not there just to make a sale but they're there to actually help you find the best deal and have a home that you're going to be happy with you know what are, is there anything that you that comes to mind that you'd like to emphasize on um from our whole discussion I think we've covered all the bases pretty well but uh it would be it would be just find somebody who wants to see you succeed mm -hmm. that would be the biggest thing we um and it might not be you know in six months we'll have the end house it might be like we talked about before it might be in a couple years that's fine we'll get you there so yeah. what i'd like to emphasize is just find an agent who really works for you Yes. And who you can find trust for. Find an agent that you will be able to tell your friends and you, you won't be able to believe they go with any other agent. Find an agent that you'd, ad, you'd, you'd be advocating for. Yes. That's the kind of agent I strive to be. I want to be the kind of agent where people go, I don't know why you're working with anybody else but Joel. Yes. That's my goal. My goal is to work for you. My goal is to get you to, to, get you to achieve your goals. Right. And I think that's with any agent. If you find an agent that is working to get reach make you reach your goals instead of the other way around. Yes. You find an agent like that, yeah, they'll screw up. Still human. Yeah. But you find an agent like that, you are going to you are going to be so much farther ahead than most people are. And you can I think you can take that straight to the bank because it's that's all it takes. You just need one agent who actually cares. 100%, 100%. Now, where, what services do you provide? Can you tell us a little about, 
you know, your company and, and what services you provide? Yeah, absolutely. So we provide anything from uh, um, market analysis, like what would your house go for in the market today? Um, we can't, you don't know what the future holds, but we, we can always get a pretty good idea of what, what's going to be, what's going to be coming in the next little bit, how the market's going to shift and where your house is. I mean, we've even had it where a house is, you know, worth $10,000 last spring. And then this spring, it's actually worth 10, like, you know, 10,000 less. Yeah. It's just the way the market balances out and itself and all that good stuff. But, um, you know, so we provide current market analysis. We provide, um, for, for the bank, often you'll need a opinion of value for if you want to pull, mm -hmm. a, you know, a credit from your, 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 your home, home equity line. And uh, obviously, We'll list houses and we'll and we'll be buyers agents for you guys as well. It's a uh, it can be a multitude of things. So if you want to be connected with a good uh, mortgage broker, stuff like that, I'm your guy. Just give us a call. We'll get you hooked up with the right people and uh, all that good stuff. So yeah, I love it. I love it. Now, where can people find you? Oh, that is a great question. Um, I'm at, <laughs> on Instagram at uh, I think it's Joe Friesen, Joe Friesen Realtor, something like that. You can find it and you'll find me. <laughs> and then I'll, just Joe Friesen. What's that? I said I'll put it, all the information in the description box for everybody. But go on. And then on Facebook, you can find me. You can find me on uh, LinkedIn and on um, um, shoot, YouTube. You can find me on YouTube. <laughs> I love yeah. it. So you're all over the place. So it's easy, easy to find you. All over the place. Oh, TikTok. So I'm I'm all over the place. So you look for me, you'll find me. If I'm not posting a lot, just call me and ask me what's up. So <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what's your phone number in case people want to do call you directly? Uh 204-381-4779. And that's would be my direct line to uh, my cell phone. So Call, text, whatever it might be, WhatsApp, if you like that. I'm uh, I'm available to to talk. And I also do provide services in uh, Low German or Plot Beach, as people would say, call it around here. And um, that uh, just helps people to, or to just that's just to help uh, navigate the real estate world in a different language. So speak your language again. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. This has been amazing. You know, you you provided a, a wealth of information. There's so many buyers out there. And with the market consistently changing, people have, you know, more and more questions. And, you know, some people may have had a bad experience with somebody and then they're afraid because they've had a past back, bad experience. But you shouldn't think about what you had in the past. And you really should focus on the people that you meet, the real estate agents you meet. And once you, you build that trust factor and you see that person is on your side and that person wants to help you you know you really it really is important to stick with that one person because when you do bounce around you know you really don't get the, the same treatment or the same success that you would if you stick with one person because it just doesn't it just doesn't work just from me being a home buyer and having my own past ex experiences when you stick with one person you know that is going to fight for you and and you know get you the best deal possible and cares about you you know, you know that you put trust in that person. That person knows you already. They understand you, like you said. And, you know, you, you get a lot more from the relationship than you would if you were bouncing around all over the place. But the information you provided today was just really amazing. It was very informative. And I really thank you so much for being on the show today and sharing why it is so important to really focus on one specific real estate agent and work with that one real estate agent to find your dream home. So thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate all this information and I look forward to our ne next discussion. Absolutely. Well, good to be here and we'll look forward to the next one. Yes, same here. You have a great day. You as well. See you. Bye-bye.